The letters were written to the then Transkai leader Kaiser Matanzima rejecting a proposal for Madiba to be released into the homeland. They are a part of a collection called The Road to Democracy. A tangible part of history in the long hand of one of the most loved icons in the world. The letters show Madiba's determination. In the 1980s, the apartheid government wanted to release him in the then homeland of Transkai under Matanzima's leadership, who had a clan affiliation. But Madiba would have none of it. He rejected the idea firmly, saying he did not want to be pestered about it again. The letter is signed with his praise name, Dalibunga. Had it not been for avid stamp collector Gerard Kamfer, the two letters might have gone lost. Once when traveling through the Transkai, he was looking in at old postal offices and old government offices, and he often found discarded items, for instance, in one uh, government office which wasn't occupied in a corner, in a cardboard box, he found items. Uh, well, he, he found all sorts of things, but uh, nobody wanted it, so he took it, and in, upon inspection, he found these letters. The Road to Democracy collection is part of a major exhibition of over 6,000 panels of stamps and other postal items. Meticulously and lovingly acquired over decades, each collection is researched and displayed with pride. Some collections are worth millions, like these Cape Triangle stamps. It's a hobby that's still very popular. We've got a very large community in South Africa, uh, which is stable. We've even got some juniors that are, are starting up. The youngest exhibit here upstairs is, is, is a junior of eight years old. There's a lot of emotion involved, uh, uh, connotation to history especially. The written letter as we know it might be a thing of the past. But here, stamps and all things postal will always be regarded as rare, beautiful, odd and precious. Mariska Boota, SABC News, Cape Town.